Hello everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and right now I'm going to review the cloud panel, that's the name, the cloud panel control panel for servers. Let's get the install going and then we'll talk. So I have my command line going and I'm just going to run this install. Okay, so it's going to update sources and packages first. It's going to do all that. Usually you should be doing this before every uh, control panel install anyway. But it's nice that they put the instruction in there. And then now this is the command to officially install it. Okay, so it's gonna download from the mirror and then it's probably gonna run it right after that. And then after that, uh, we need to generate the SSL. So it, it'll be like this, um, but it's totally fine. Okay, so uh, what is Cloud Panel? It's another free, I think it's free open source control panel. You put it on your server and then you can uh, manage your server. So it's free, easy to use, modern. Yeah, it, it, it does does have a clean, modern design. High performance, huh? we'll see about that. I'm sure the performance will be fine. So without having even clicked around through here, I can say it looks a bit more admin, you know. Oh yeah, it's running off Debian 10, by the way, for those who are wondering. Okay, cool, no Apache, just straight Nginx. I like the sound of that, it has the latest PHP. Um, it's using Percona, that's cool. I'm more accustomed to uh, MariaDB, but I don't mind, don't mind at all. Percona's good. All right, so it can do emails, it has a file manager, thank you. Wait, no, no, okay. <laughs> Doesn't have a file manager, ah. Uh. It's fine. A lot of admin guys, they don't care. But for me, end users, gotta have file manager. If you make them log into their FTP, you know, they don't remember their passwords and whatnot. So that for me is like, eh. Blocking IPs and bots. That's cool. So it has like a nice little, uh, little built in uh, manual uh, WAF, manual web application firewall setup. I like, I appreciate that. SSH keys, that's fine. Database users and whatnot, deleting users. Okay. Master database, yeah. Yeah, so this is what you gotta do to get the root pass because because um, your PHP man is probably not gonna auto log in. So, okay, I have a good idea of the interface. So far, so clean. Um, just waiting for this thing to go and it's almost done. So this is a really, really lightweight server as, as we can see. And, and okay, so let's see, check out the users area. Okay, so I, you know, they're trying to show you only the, the, the screen that you see, the screen that you have to focus on, the dialog box or that you have to focus on. I, I would love to see um, screenshots of the entire panel so you can see the header footer. So you, I, I would have liked that. Um, but I understand why they're doing this to try to make things look cleaner. All right, so none of this really pertains to me. I, it doesn't matter. Ooh, I like that they have some simple uh, CLT commands. Yeah, this is really good. Master password, importing databases. I appreciate this. this. This is very admin friendly. You can tell they spent the time. And then uh, for applications, ooh, let's check this out. Um, I'm sure WordPress is in there. Okay, so I'm already liking this already. I, I just wish it had a file manager. I understand why they don't put it, but I, I'm liking it. Okay, cool. So that is how we get into the server. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna see if it in. Okay, so it uses, well, maybe I determined that already. All right. Who knows? You know what? I'm gonna just change this to a cloud panel there. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, uh, 8443. So that, well, let's change this to that. Who else uses 8443? Not that I can't remember. Uh, maybe Plesk? I can't remember. Somebody, somebody else uses it. So the SSL is not generated yet, so this is fine. We'll go here. Okay, admin user create. All right. Um, create, create admin. I'll just call it admin. 
I need to read it later anyway. I am in America. Here we are. All right. You know, it's kind of cool that uh, you're doing it from here instead of uh, from the command line. I, I like I like the idea. So, what the heck did I enter? And I'm in. Yeah, I like this. Uh, for an admin, we love to jump in and just see the server loads right away. Right away, we love to see that. Okay, users. Ah, okay. So this is a single user panel. It's not like admins and end users. It's just pure admins. That's that's what it appears to me. We can create SSH users. Okay. Now, oh, okay, all right. So it auto logs me into PHP my admin. All right, I'm a big fan. It's winning me over. I like this. Um, there's no shutdown, huh? There's no shutdown option anywhere. I like that it, it has Redis just enabled off the bat. I I'm, I, I don't see the point of uh, control panels out there that ask you if you want to enable it. Like just enable it. I, I typically, any admin, would enable that by default. Okay, so let, let, let me just see if I'm able to use. No, okay, so I have to create it. Uh huh, on default, the host template. Yeah! Yes! Yes, yes. Okay, well, I, I need to uh, generate some stuff, I assume. Or maybe that was just the template. Okay, so now how do I get to my sites? You got the, okay, I have to click on that. Okay, vhost, this would be the nginx configs. Yeah, that's fine. And that's fine. Cool. One minute. Oh, I see. See, I, you know, I would prefer this in seconds. And the reason why is because when you look at guides out there, server guides out there, they usually put it in seconds. So I, I would have preferred this in seconds. One minute, I, I immediately think of one million or something. And I know for end users, they're gonna be, they might not understand. Okay, I don't know why it says uh, Berlin here because I specifically set Los Angeles, but. Not a big deal. Oh, I see. If you want HTTP auth in here, add users. So if I add users, what is this? I'm not sure. Um, is that the users for this? I think that's what it is. Maybe it's the users for this uh, HTTP authentication. Access log, error log. Okay, I really like this. I really like this. This is cool. Yeah, and it shows I was forbidden for whatever reason. Install auto renew. Okay, so why is, <laughs> where's the auto renew on this? Oh, because this is a self-signed one. So let's generate a new one, yeah. So the, the IP is already pointed. I mean, the, uh, the host name's already pointed. Okay, cool. All right, now let's see. Is she gonna let me in this time? No, still no, for whatever reason. All right, I think what it was is it gave me a WordPress template, but it didn't actually, uh, who's that? It didn't actually install WordPress onto there. That's my guess. So I'm gonna go back here. Okay. So when you did this thing, it just, it gave you the V host. It gave you the configurations, the default configurations for WordPress. But to really install it, you have to do all this. You have to extract it in the directory where you want WordPress to install. You have to set up your database and whatnot. Okay, maybe not because it already used the, the that, this was already configured in the template and whatnot. So it doesn't say, it would have been great if it was a one click install, but overall, it's not a problem for me but for end users 
overall, I like the panel. Um, and I'm sure this looks mobile. Yeah, it looks mobile response. Is it? Mm, no. Okay. It doesn't really matter. I like I like mobile responsive panels sometimes because there's a nightmare um, while I'm driving or in the middle of somewhere. I can quickly log in and fix some things. But I like it. It's a clean, simple panel for admins. Um, you can do almost everything from here. I, I, I liked I like that I didn't have to get the MySQL root password or not, that Redis is already automatically installed, the installation was easy. Um, but but yeah, you, uh, there's no one click install and I imagine there's no like staging features and whatnot. So, but it is a nice, clean, simple panel for admins. I like it and I'm pretty sure the, the performance will be all right as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time.